คาถาหัวใจนักปราด the heart mantra or heart incantation so abbreviated version of the kata the incantation for the n a k p r a t n a k p r a t means the philosopher and this is used by students and those who have to work with fast wittedness and decisiveness and wisdom and insight and uh, is very often used with w i c h a for amulets such as the takut banyawai And think uh, which are banya why, which means fast wittedness. Why is fast wittedness? Uh, people use that for their studies, to pass their exams, and also to be efficient in their workplace. And um, it goes like this. It's very easy. It's a four-syllable kata, which is actually an abbreviation of four words, which are two-syllable words. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And so, when you chant the kata for the k u p a n y a w a i or any amulet, or you just want to increase your efficiency and focus and intelligence, then you use this kata. But for those who are studying and want to pass their exams, and those who wish to become uh, men of great intelligence and wisdom, then you should also understand the meaning and. Apply what the meaning of these four syllables mean to your work. If not, the kata won't help. The kata is intended to make you mindful of the things you need to do to achieve your goal. Yeah. So it goes like this: Su, ji, pu, li, su ji pu li, su ji pu li, su ji pu li, and you can chant that. Silently within, if you have an amulet or not, if you're doing your studies or you're trying to get some very difficult academic work done, and uh, I'll now explain what each syllable means because you're supposed to hold that in your mind when you chant each syllable. So you need to become fluent enough that when you chant each syllable, you automatically can picture and imagine the meaning at the same time. Yeah, and then apply those things to your work, because what it is is mindfulness of the things you need to apply to your work to succeed. So su is the abbreviation of the word sutta, which means in Pali to listen. Su means to listen. Su j i b u l i su to listen. Su j i b u l i su j i j i Is the abbreviation of jinta, which comes from jintana, which means uh, to think, or to peruse, or to uh, to examine, to think about it. And suji pu li pu is the abbreviation of the word pucha. Which means to ask or inquiry, mm? examination and inquiry, experiment, mm? to ask, <coughs> to inquire, and so j i p u l i li. The last syllable is the abbreviation of the word liquid, liquid, yeah. liquid, which means to write, to write things down or to note things. Take note and write them down, and so, so, listen, j i think, b o ask and inquire, li, write down, hmm? and if you think about it in your studies, you need to listen, you need to think, you also have to ask sometimes, and you definitely have to write, yeah, so so j i b u li, listen, think, ask, write. So j i p u l i and this is the h u a j a i of the kata h u a j a i nakbrat, mm, the heart mantra of the philosopher, according to Buddhism, and <coughs> is often used by the Rusi or the Lusi. Mm, 
because the practice of the Lursi is precisely this, to increase his intelligence and wisdom and to ascend to higher states of mind, and the Brahmins, and of course the Buddhists. And so it is a very important kata, not just for academic studies and work in the world, but also for Dharma practice and Vipassana, for advancement, because that is also a study and is also something that you have to listen to, think about, ask questions about, and take note of, you know, write it down, or take note of it anywhere you want to. And you can write it down in your memory if you want, but you write it down in a place where you can summon it and refer to it when you need to. So, ji pu li hua jai nak prad. And anybody who uses amulets which have the vichar nak prad, or people who are practicing Dhamma, who are Lursi or Rusi, Brahmins or Buddhists, and those practicing Vipassana, or people doing their studies, or working in the office, can use this for worldly or getting out of the world purposes. And this is Ajahn Spencer for the Buddha Magic Project, explaining finally the meaning and the usage of the kata, of the Hua Jai Nak Prad, the incantation of the philosopher, Sujipuli, listen, think, ask, and take note. Sajan Spencer for the Buddha Magic Project, signing off.